looks non-menacing at first, but I promise it's a mess. Sorry about the lighting in advance. I just finished work and that's why I'm doing this right now. And it's past five and in October, mm -mm, the lighting isn't given anymore. But I'm going to be going through underwear and stuff and I'm just focusing on getting things that don't fit me right now out of the drawer. Throwing out things that I just know that I won't wear anymore because they're too worn in or they're styles that I feel uncomfortable in whether I lose weight or gain weight it doesn't really matter it just like doesn't fit my body type first things first the underwear drawer Kate stuff with the tag still attached because it was from my last order that I didn't use it's a 32f I should probably try this on and see but we'll see I don't, I don't know yet the fact that it still has the tag attached and I even have the matching pennies I, I have to try this on but I can't do that right now because I need to take a shower honestly I don't want to try this on yet um, there's some thong underwear that I'm not going to go through here. Oh, my Ampron's bra, which I still wear, but I need to wash. And this is, guys, this is my favorite bra because I love Ampron so much. And I'm glad I did because it's one of my best workhorse bras and it's in a 32, what? 32. It's in a 30F. For the record, I've gained most of my weight back, so I'm able to fit into my 32 double F stuff. So I'm gonna have to go and like search through my bra stuff to make sure that I have that stuff on hand. That's why I don't really get rid of lingerie because honestly, I fluctuate in weight. So it's in my best interest to keep a couple of band sizes and a couple of cup sizes because lingerie is expensive. Like I have a, du a duplicate of this underwear, but I'm using one right now. I just don't need two of them in my rotation right now, so I don't mind keeping it, but I just don't need it in my everyday drawer. I have a swimsuit here, which probably should be put somewhere else. Love that swimsuit too. It's a recent one from Maggi that I purchased two years ago. Oh, socks. I have a garment bag. I don't mind having that on hand. I like to use this for when I have dirty laundry when I'm traveling, so this could probably go in my travel stuff. Sports bra, that's okay. Halloween schoolgirl costume from La Senza. Honestly, I don't wear this often at all, clearly, because it's a hoochie thing. It was meant to be lingerie, but I would wear it with like short shorts for honestly just Instagram. <laughs> bra, bra. This is skin colored and it blocks if you have a tattoo, because I have a tattoo on my foot. And I went to a job interview at the airport with the tag. <laughs> I never wore this. I got this in a pack and I wanted like the top part, but I wouldn't, I, I could not. To me, that's just dental floss up your butt and it's just not my thing. If you're into wearing opaque tights, it's not really always my thing, but honestly, they don't rip as easily as Danier 10 or Danier 20 or whatever it's, it's called, I don't know. These are like the really opaque ones that they sell at Simon's and they um because i hate the way nylons feel on the crotch and the ones with tummy control are just really uncomfortable they're not great for everyday wear so i wear these ones that stop at the thigh and they've got the rubber that helps stick the rubber can be like a little bit irritating i will wear these and then i'll wear biker shorts underneath my dresses and it's more comfortable than wearing trousers to work or jeans and I don't really fold them but I just like twirl them around and keep them together and I use these IKEA dividers to keep everything under control I found a dupe for the airy 
I don't I forget what it was called it was like an airy bralette that I raved about years ago they used to sell bralettes in small triple D on airy which was great because then I was able to actually get my size I found this one which is so nice it's got four hook and eyes and it's a row of three and it's this really nice lacy whatever anyways so i found this and it was only 35 dollars it's also lace with adjustable straps oh my gosh so nice so i bought this not too too long ago to replace the one that i need to throw out it's basically hanging on for its life oh yeah, I will go through some bras actually. One of my other favorite workhorse bras. I know this is a declutter, but like guys, this stuff, oh, this stuff, it, it saves me. The, I think this was the Victorious from Curvy Kate. This is such an awesome bra for when you're wearing sweaters and stuff like that in the winter time. I think this is a 32, yeah, it's a 32F, but I actually have a 32 double F in the blue colorway. So I'm gonna keep that in my everyday drawer because that's, that's the one that fits me better right now. But when I lose a bit of weight, I wear this one. More underwear. Okay, this doesn't need to be in my everyday drawer. It's an underwear that doesn't fit me right now. I'm just never wearing sports bras these days, but I might want to keep that, honestly. This one is one that I don't really fit in right now because it's too tight on the rib cage. And that's just what I have on hand. Oh, this Felina one. This one also is too tight. These fit me now, but the bra doesn't fit me now, which is annoying because like, the underwear is a little bit large and the bra is a bit small. I ordered it off of eBay. There was a seller on there that sold Empreint and it had the tags and everything, but they were discontinued models. In my underwear, oh my gosh, I know I have stuff to declutter in here. So there's this thong that I'm not gonna show you. That's like on the edge of life. Uh, these are okay. Is this new or old? Oh my gosh, my cotton underwear from Victoria's Secret that are like You know when the material gets a little bit transparent because you've worn it and washed it and You can see the like little orangish brownish threads from the elastic separating from the fiber of the cotton That's what happens with cotton underwear after a certain amount of time. So this has to go I restocked on some underwear recently at Uniqlo and Aerie, even though the quality at Aerie has really gone downhill. And the fit of Uniqlo is kind of annoying because the elastic digs into your cheeks. And this is coming from a girl that has small butt cheeks. Oh, this is the other colorway of the, I think, again, the Kirby Kate Victory. And this is the one that fits me now. For bras like this that are unlined but just have the wire i'll like fold them in half and then stick them in a container but then i've got these ones which this was passionata this one still fits me even though this bra has seen better days like this bit is like stretching out and it's starting to look like even the tag is super faded but it's one of my workhorse bras by the way, can I let you in on a secret about bras? I made a bra channel a few years ago and I stopped posting on it because the views were like creepy men and stuff. But I, and also because I lost weight and then stopped being fuller bust essentially. But if you are fuller bust, what it means is you are beyond double D in cup size. Now, a lot of women don't understand this because if they go to a retailer like Victoria's Secret, they'll tell you you fit in a 36D or a 36B, C, whatever, it doesn't matter. But why would you be wearing a 36 band size if 36 translates to 36 inches around your rib cage, not your chest tissue? So essentially, like they're just molding you to fit into any generic size that they sell. This is a 32 band size and the cups are F. See, it's not huge. F is not huge. F only gets huge if you're in the larger band sizes. 
All right, what else is left? Oh, socks. My socks are actually pretty good. I went through my socks recently. Oh, actually. So I've got these like little slip-on things that only cover your toes. And I guess they're meant to be worn with ballet flats. But truthfully, I'd rather just go barefooted because I cannot stand. I cannot stand these types of socks. And even if there's a rubber on the back of this, it doesn't stay on because I have really tiny heels and skinny feet, like skinny bony feet. And this is just, this is just not it. So I'm gonna donate these because they're hardly even worn. I think I got them from my mom's closet. Like here's more of them. What am I supposed to do with this? How am I supposed to get my foot into this? Like, no. Uh, oh, these always come off. I don't like those. Where's the other one? in here i also bought socks not too too long ago and they're already in here and truthfully a lot of my dark socks are actually in the wash but as i was saying truthfully i um i'm not very impressed with the socks that i bought they're from win winners i think and they're from a brand called kenzie because I'm always on the lookout for like proper cotton socks, whether they be white or black. And I tend to put my white socks away for the winter, but we're not quite there yet. I'm still able to wear sneakers, so I'm not going to put those away. So these are my socks. That's it. I'm getting rid of them. I just put the pair together and fold them in half. I wiped it with the wet side of my cloth and the dry side of my cloth so that it's not wet. Socks, underwear, bras, wire-free bras. I don't, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep like the wire bras and the wire-free ones here because they're kind of like the ones you wear when you work out or when you, you know, you have a day where you're gonna have your period and you feel like you just don't want a wire bra. I've got my nylons. I've got my garment bag, which is an old loose button products bag. I kept it because it's a nice drawstring that I use for underwear or undergarments when I go to my boyfriend's or I use it as like a laundry bag when I travel. How about the one that's pre-filled? I think that's it because any of like the lingerie-ish stuff, I just, like I said, don't use often. Some of it really doesn't fit me right now. So I just don't wanna keep anything that doesn't fit me in here right now. I've got this whole empty space in the back. This is what we're working with so far. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I have some black socks in the laundry, um, fair enough, and some bras to wash, but I think generally everything's gonna fit in here. I've got my garment bags in the back. And when it comes to thongs, by the way, little tip here, try sizing up. Uh, honestly, I know how it feels to be a small or a medium and to have to buy a medium or a large. You don't want to because of vanity sizing, but don't let the tag persuade you. Sometimes a size up is way, way more comfortable. So don't, don't let the marketing persuade you. Also like, ain't nobody got time for clothes that feel uncomfortable. I'm not about that life. So these are the bras that don't fit me right now, may fit me later, and the underwear and some things that I'm getting rid of. Socks. That stuff I need to find a different place for because it doesn't belong in my everyday underwear drawer. I'm going to be doing this next drawer here, which is, it makes no sense, okay? There are pajamas, there's a travel garment bag in there, lots of perfumes in here as you can see. I told you guys that I wanted to take my perfumes out of here. This is just a little sachet where I keep my menstrual cup. I think I could put this in my underwear drawer. And I also have a spare soft cup for in case I, you know, need a backup or whatever. Because I still have soft cups, I just don't use them readily. I think I'm going to put that in my underwear drawer as I told you. This travel garment bag. Oh yeah, I remember why I use these. I use these for when I do weekends away. I kind of like to have them on hand because weekends happen every weekend. Boric Life capsules. These are a bit controversial because I recently saw a gynecologist on TikTok. <laughs> I realize how ridiculous that sounds. A gynecologist on TikTok, ow my elbow, told me <laughs> 
But she said that there was like no founded evidence that this increases feminine health. And I actually had a friend tell me that this can make you bleed sometimes. So do I still use these? I feel like a dick donating it. Do you ever feel that way sometimes? Like it's a cute shirt and everything, but I hate the neckline. No, come on now, Alexa. I've got the, I have a lot. I have some in garment bags, bags, boxes. Guerlain, ooh, I should probably work on finishing this. This is close. I, I could actually start panning some of the perfumes. I kept all the tags to a lot of the bras that I had because when I was doing bra content, I wanted to remember the, all the bras that I had and I honestly, I could write this all down and get rid of this. Okay, right, let's get, this is oil. Maybe this shouldn't go here, ah, whatever. I'm not gonna break my head about this stuff right now. My idea for this drawer is actually, I think it would be wisest for me to use that drawer for loungewear and gym clothing because that's the stuff that I wear all the time around the house and it's what I wear every day. Even if I go to work in the office, I wear loungewear as soon as I get home. I don't sit around in the clothes that I rode on the metro and like sat in public places in or I don't know, it's just like, a, it gives me the ick to wear outdoor clothes and lay around my house in it. Does that make me weird? Can you let me know in the comments if you're like that too or if I'm just crazy? Um, right off the bat, I don't need another one of these right now, so that'll definitely go in the travel stuff. Um, pajamas, a bathing suit, which I wear as a top sometimes in the summer. That can go somewhere else for now. Pajama top, pajama top. Okay, I'll just put the pajamas all up here right off the bat. What is this? Um, I think it's like a pajama dress actually, but it's, it's seen better day. Oh no, yeah, it's seen better days. Like look at this when this happens. I don't like that. Oh, it's, for, it's a top from Jacob. I mean, uh, it's not the end of the world if it's pajamas, I guess. We'll see how much I have. Oh, this is the dress I was thinking about. That has seen better days, but I like to wear it as PJs because it's like so comfy. But it's more of like a summer thing though. Yeah. You know what, honestly? I should just declutter these two items. Oh, these shorts. These are like one of the last things that my mom bought me and they're so comfortable even though they're like very weathered and worn in and I don't have a lot of shorts to wear around the house so I usually just tighten them up so that they fit right but they've, they've definitely seen better days but they're just still usable and they don't have a hole or anything. It's just I don't really wear shorts as much in the winter time but since I only have one pair and it's kind of nice to wear loose shorts as opposed to like tight biker shorts when you're hanging out around the house like for cleaning for instance sometimes it gets way too hot to wear full legs when you're vacuuming and like running around like crazy okay i've just talked myself into keeping it this this was my mom's and it was a dress from h&m and she was using it as pjs but honestly i've worn it a few times as pjs but i wouldn't open the door if i was wearing it so i feel like yeah no i think i'm good i'm gonna get rid of this Oh, these leggings I totally forgot about. Yeah, these I'm keeping and they're going to be in... I think I'll put them in my closet and put them on um, Pinchy Hanger because these are something that I can kind of... I can wear these. Mm, I'm excited, actually. Oh, here are the new underwear that I bought from airy that i need to take the tags off and wash let me put that aside my favorite bathing suit i like to keep one bathing suit out even if it's winter because or like a couple of bathing suits out because then i don't have to search or rummage through my my things if we go swimming indoors somewhere or go to a spa or something like that 
so i tend to keep like one out and i think i will keep this in my activewear drawer this is also activewear these are leggings from airy uh leggings these are also from airy but they're skinny as opposed to flares these are lulus that can be activewear as well oh i've got shorts this goes in summer clothes this isn't for now i've got a long sleeved shirt that belonged to my mom and it's so comfy i love it it's from gap and everything but it's really unflattering on me right now since i gained weight firstly and secondly i don't look good in red <laughs> i actually don't look good in red unless it's more of a berry color so this i feel like i can i can donate this i'm good this is Kamexum. so this is a polish bra I can't remember the size of it because Polish sizing is completely different. I think double H is basically the equivalent to double F, more or less. And the 75 works for if you're a 32 band. 75 is centimeters. I don't know if that directly translates or not. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't because I think they do a different calculation based off give and stuff. Oops, that fell, but that's going to go in the bra drawer. This is the Wonder Bra. Uh, ultimate strapless and it's um oh god this bra is fantastic i ordered it off of asos because it was the only place that i could find my size they sell it in montreal at the bay or they used to but they only had like the generic sizes and they did send me i think a 32 no 34 double d and it didn't fit right it works so well for low cut stuff and it brings your boobs together it gives you amazing cleavage and it doesn't budge because it's got these little rubber things that really hold you in place i'll link it in the description if it's still available highly recommend for fuller bust ladies this is another bathing suit Ooh, i love this bathing suit it's so cute it's from H&M and it's pretty old. It's a one piece, but it's got cutouts on the side and ruffles on the boobies. That goes in the summer stuff. Here, what's in here? White shorts, that's summer. Ah, that's where the skirt went. I can hang this in my closet now. I gotta give it a wash though. These leggings, oh my God, these are from Lulu. And they make my legs look super short and they're not the most comfortable. And I feel so stupid for spending money on this. And this is the mesh that I'm talking about. You can see the legs in some parts. I wonder if I could sell these or something. Like even if I could sell them for $40, I'd be happy to get some of my money back, you know? Cause it was expensive. Like Lulu is so freaking expensive. I don't know. These are on the chopping block. I'll see, I'll list them on Facebook and see what happens. These are, yeah, the shorts that summer. I bought this and I haven't worn it yet. I even left the tag on it. It hasn't been that long since I, I actually need to try it on too. It's, it's just a white basic t-shirt from Uniqlo and this shouldn't really be in this drawer, honestly. I don't really like wearing white that much either. I just bought it cause it felt like I should have a white shirt, I guess. This skirt right now, so short and it doesn't work with me right now, but when I lose weight, it fits. It fit me just like two summers ago. That's the worst part. I've got a couple of activewear tops. I can keep these. Oh, this tank top. This is for summer though. It's also a little bit too small on me now, but it's for summer. So hopefully by summer, I really will get my sh together. I've got this. This is like a little pajama dress. It needs a wash. Oh, another one of those Honduras shirts, but this one doesn't have a messed up collar. I think I wore this in one of my vlogs actually, and it's it's fine. You know what? I'll keep one because it's handy to have as pajamas. Oh, look at this drawer. It's like sunken in. I don't know if I can fix that. I've got a top that my friend Victoria gave me uh, when I went to her wedding in Sydney. And... This is one of my mom's tops, but it's really nice for sleeping. I love it when the neck is open. See, like that's what I want in a pajama top. Let's start with this drawer here. One of these. Darn it, I gotta fold this again. This is a dress, but 
whatever it's fine it's pretty warm this one i've got pants uh shoot how do i do this okay now what, what are the tops i have let's just put that there for now more leggings yay let's try not to trip on all the stuff that is around me right now leggings leggings oh yeah this works i like this a lot this is so much better I got another pair. These are from Airy. I love me some Airy leggings, but similar to the underwear, the quality of the offline leggings have absolutely gone downhill since their first launch. I don't know if it's just me or maybe they just wore a lot better, obviously, because I was skinnier. And even if I like size up, they just get all loose and watery feeling. Like, you know what I mean? Like soggy. <laughs> That's one way that I describe any clothing that just kind of where the elastic has died off. I'll just put this, let's put workout-ish tops here. I'd like to get more, honestly. More workout tops would be great so that I could replace these because these are so old. So they're very old and like, they're a little bit misfitting. They're from Gap, those old ones. Oh, I know there's one in here, right? I bought one recently from Aerie as well and it has a bit of a built-in bra. It might be, oh no, it doesn't look like it'll be too small actually. For now, I'm just gonna keep it in here. I'm not in a rush to wash it like I am for the underwear. I probably should though, come on now. I will. Oh, this is not old. Un this is not new underwear. This is Curvy Kate Scantily. I can put this in my underwear drawer. I think I'll keep this bodysuit like bathing suit out as well because this could look cute under trousers. It's got a couple of snags on the tata though. I think I could cut this off and kind of pretend it doesn't. Do you, do you think I could get away with pretending that those snags don't exist? Ugh, whatever, it's a bathing suit. I, I'm always looking for like the most basic bathing suit because I love classic suits. You know what, I feel bad. Before I put this top away, because look at it, it's all yellow. Maybe I will try some resolve on it first, wash it, and if it doesn't come out, I'll get rid of it. I put this on white clothes that are stained looking and then I let it dry and then when I'm ready to do a bunch of white clothes, I stick it in the wash. And represent! Represent Honduras! This is the stuff I need to put away because it doesn't fit me right now or it's for summer. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that little pouch. On the left, I have the leggings that I know I don't really like and I want to see if I can list them on Facebook Marketplace. And the Uniqlo, Clu, <laughs> Uniqlo t-shirt that I bought that I need to try on before I decide. Like, I bought it recently, but I'm kind of having buyer's remorse right now about it. So maybe it'll be something I list as well. And then the pile on the right... All of that is just stuff that I don't want to wear anymore that I want to declutter or that I haven't worn recently or that just doesn't work for me anymore. All right. Oh, another bra. Oh, this is the bra to the blue underwear. This is a top I wear in the summer. Cozy socks. I got this in a PR package and oh my gosh, they're so fuzzy on the inside. They're still attached. Oh uh, my gosh. I don't know if I should just donate these because uh, these are so warm. I've got these wool socks from um, Simon's and I wear these when it's extremely cold, not very often because global warming guys, it's real because it hasn't been as cold lately um, in the winter times. Like there were times when <laughs> in my day. <laughs> so in here I've got some scarves and honestly, I think I could uh, definitely declutter this one i know i'm never gonna wear it i'm also like not the type of person to wear scarves too too often but i don't mind that they are confined to the space and they don't get larger and they make nice props for photos i think i kept this one because it's silk because it belonged to my mom what could i do with this 
I don't, I don't know, like I don't, I don't really see myself wearing this though, that's the thing. The other ones that are like printy and busy, I like better. Oh my gosh, there's a bandana here. Oh my gosh, so these I bought last year. And I just, then I realized I found a stash of like wool socks and my mom's stuff, but um, they, they still have the tag on them. You guys might've seen when I bought these socks actually, cause it was um, September-ish last year. So again, these ones I'm gonna put back here because it's for when it gets slightly colder and that's going to happen soon. And I, I always love having fresh socks cause I noticed also like some of the older ones that I had, from my mom like some the elastic had eroded from it being stored away that's something to really look at though because if you hold on to things for a really long time eventually they do they they disintegrate over time they go bad i've got some belts um i feel guilty about this because i just i don't really wear belts like I've got this Zara one, but it's got gold on it and it's cool and everything and it might be on trend eventually But I just on truthfully never wear this kind of stuff um, I think I could like I don't know Facebook market these or something I've got one of those dresses dresses one of those belts that goes really well on a dress this I feel like keeping because it's a bit of like a trend piece that goes in and out of style but it still always works if you're wearing a long dress and you need just a little bit of a cinch in if it's baggy or something so um it's practical to keep on hand and then the other belt is more up my alley even though it's got like a goldish hardware on it um it's more of a belt that i would wear like i don't wear brown i don't really wear warm tones as much because um, I realize that I'm probably a deep winter in the seasonal color analysis. This, um, those elasticated belts, yeah, I'm never gonna wear this. This is so 2010. I don't know. I put it in here thinking I was gonna wear it. I've got the white belt version of the black belt that I have, and this one I've basically like never worn, and it's going bad in my drawer probably oh my gosh you guys remember when like these mini belts were in style and you would put this on over your dress and stuff but these are so again these are like really they're so 2010 this is a string belt to something that i lost at least 15 years ago i've got a mango one. Oh my god these elasticated thingies i used to find this one really cute but this is kind of ridiculous like oops i'm not gonna wear this um no, <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. Um, I've got this little brown one. This one's nice because it's like more plain. Uh, you know what? I might keep this one on hand in case. I feel like the leather isn't as... I, I noticed that with fast fashion, quality of leather and just quality of all clothing has gone down the crapshoot. Oh, this was so sad. Okay. This I'll keep because this one is super practical and I like that one on dresses and I know for a fact. I'll keep this one as well because it's plain. I've got a silk string here for something I decluttered a long time ago. This made me sad. Um, this one is a silver leather belt from Mango, but the buckle actually fell apart one time when I was wearing it. Can you imagine? And this was like maybe a year ago and I kept it thinking, oh, I'm gonna get a buckle and I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna remove the stitches and then, because I actually like the fact that it's a silver belt and this looks really cute with jeans, but it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. Oh, and this is a silk thing to something I decluttered. This would make like a cute headband or something. Anyways, it just doesn't belong here. So, Let's get these all tidy and back in the little bin because I always know when I'm looking for belts They're here and I've got four in here. So that's perfect. Four. It's a very reasonable amount Oh, speaking of these I know that this color is unflattering on me actually going back to those um, little scarves Um yeah i i think i could declutter this 
honestly. The other ones I like a bit better, especially the one, oh my gosh, this one I'll probably never get rid of until it's like worn in because this one belonged to my mom and I actually love the way this one works with my complexion and such. And the other ones, honestly, like I'm not ready. <laughs> I just don't want to. So I'll put these here. Going into shirts, I don't wear this shirt very often, but that's okay. It's a cream thing that's good for the winter because it's warm. Um, this is a, oh, I know, this is like a velvet tank top. I don't really wear this. I've worn it like in YouTube videos, but I haven't like worn it, worn it. This is for summer and bathing suits, so that is in the wrong place right now because I, I obviously can't wear it. I got a tank top, which I do wear. T-shirt, I washed this recently. Another t-shirt from Uniqlo that I washed recently and that I wear more regularly. These can all stay. Oh, is there something else in here that I missed? Oh, there is. Um, oh, there's two things. What am I doing? Another tank top. This one's from Uniqlo with the, the lace edges. I really like those, actually. Um, these are a bit misfolded, but it's not the end of the world. And then I've got a new tank top that I bought from Aerie. So this is pretty empty right now. So I've got this I've got spare space in this bin right here and the other drawer on the side is completely empty but we still have the two bottom drawers to go through. On the very bottom compilation of sweaters that admittedly I do not wear often enough. I don't really reach into here um, so we've got to do something about that. I have to definitely do some skimming in here. Oh no, there's more nylons in the back. Okay, um, I need to go through this. Jeans are like this really weird thing that I feel guilty about decluttering if they still fit. But in reality, I don't wear jeans as much as leggings and I would like to transition into more trousers and dresses because I just find them so much more comfortable. Like I don't understand, jeans are something you wear to look casual and comfortable but they are so rigid and uncomfortable and even when they have a little bit of stretch you end up looking sloppy i find i don't know so maybe it's because the fit is never perfect and stuff but yeah this is a dress so that doesn't need to be here it's summer clothes summer clothes this uh is actually a sweater dress that is a turtleneck i'm not i'm i i no <laughs> it's not my jam um oh i have this old sweater that has ties on the sleeves um i've had this since like maybe 2017 or 2016 it was from the gap before the gap left downtown and honestly the quality there has really gone downhill as well all fast fashion has really gone down but yeah, I don't know. I'm not really into this sweater anymore. I don't reach for it. I feel like it's more of like my college days or my post-uni outfits when I was unemployed or working at the airport and basically had a uniform. So I didn't really wear those kind of things. This sweater, oh my God, I loved this sweater. But you know, the elastic is done. And uh, actually it's inside out. I was keeping it inside out. Oh man. Can I still wear this? Oh, I love this sweater, but I just never reach for it anymore. It needs a good wash too, because it has that like old kept clothing smell. Mm -hmm. It's still in good condition and not stained. I could give it a shot. Maybe it would be something I could wear around the house. I'm, I'm not mad at the color because this is a red that is a little bit more cool toned. That was a really horrible fold. This is a medium sized wool sweater from Frank and Oak and it's from the men's section. I'm going to see if my boyfriend wants this and if he doesn't, um, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've worn it. I'm not going to say I haven't, but it's just not something I wear very often because it's usually not cold enough in terms of like jacket and sweater combination. It's a bit tricky and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bulky as well. Then I've got these sweaters from Aerie 
and I used to love to wear these layered over stuff, but like they're, you know, everything from, it's not just Airy actually, it's just some, is it Airy or American Eagle? Oh no, it is Airy. So it is their like pajama-ish stuff. My jam about this is it's not my color. I know this color doesn't look great on me, so. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one, but I do have another color. The blue I like, so I'll keep this in my pajama drawer. This will be to go. Oh my gosh, I love this sweater, but I, I'm not huge on the color. I've worn it a few times. It's been with me to Greece when I was with my mom, when we went to Greece together for her 50th and my 30th. Um, but I think I'm gonna let it go. It's a really nice sweater from French Connection. It's just, the color is just, I, I never reach for this. Yellow sweater. Again, not really my color. Um, but this one is in better condition than the brown one, and um, I might hold on to this for a bit and see, because I like to wear it as pajamas. I don't know. I just don't feel compelled to get rid of this right now. I've got this sweater. This is from Mango from back when I used to work there, literally what like 2008 oh my gosh and i kept this thinking i was gonna wear it but frankly um yeah i don't think i'm gonna wear this i don't like this kind of knit anymore oh i've got another one of these this one's really worn in this is the black version of the same lace-up sweater that i had from gap it looks really worn in but um yeah no i'm not keeping that and last but not least, I have the pajama pants that match this. It's a Zara sweater. It's kind of annoying that it's a bit cropped, but for now I'm gonna keep it because it's nice and warm and if I pair it with a tank top underneath or a t-shirt underneath, I don't have a problem with the length. And that's usually how I wear it anyhow. So far, this is the declutter pile and I'm keeping five of the sweaters that were shown. There was a couple of things that are gonna go in the summer stuff and that's what I'm gonna see if I can get my boyfriend to try it on this weekend. Hmm. I found three more leather belts on the back of my mother's door that I didn't even notice that were there. And yeah, um, I'll have to consolidate that in some form. I think I will keep her leather belt because it has a silver buckle and I prefer silver hardware, but we'll see. For now, um, moving on to the jeans that were in the drawer down there. Um, oh, and just for a little update, because my camera died and I had to charge it again, I think I'm gonna have to buy a new battery. Anyway, that is off topic, but these are the four sweaters that I'm keeping, and well, actually it'll be five because one is in the wash, and I have an empty container here. We will just have to see what I end up keeping from this. I will let you guys know right now that I have a tendency of keeping different sizes of clothes. That's why you'll see more than one black jean, for instance, because I fluctuate in weight. And yeah, I've, I feel like I've mentioned this time and time again in this video, but I think it's important to mention because it actually, I know there are pairs of jeans that I actually like just because they don't fit me right now doesn't mean I'm gonna declutter them and have to go out and repurchase them because they tend to be items that I lean into all the time when they fit. And this is not my first rodeo. I have lost weight and gained weight a couple of times from just stress and um, life. Yeah, let's not get into it. Um, anyways, these jeans are from Gap and they are distressed. Um, these are actually one of the few pairs of jeans that I really, really love, but they have a huge hole on the knee on purpose, distressing. So um, I'm gonna put these away because they're more like summer jeans. I'm definitely not wearing these in the junta. I've got these skinny jeans and uh, I feel so bad about this because where did I get these, Gap? Yeah, they're from Gap. They're nice and everything, but they're super millennial. 
okay and listen i'm not hating on a skinny jean but i don't like myself in a skinny jean anymore i just the only time it's practical is when you're wearing boots that go up to the knee and you obviously need pants that fit into your boot but i'm just not i'm not vibing with that look and um i didn't wear these that much I wonder if I could sell these on Facebook Marketplace because they're still in really good condition. Otherwise, I could donate them. So, yeah. Uh, where, what am I? What is my summer pile? Let's do the summer pile there. This, a pair of American Eagle jeans that probably don't fit me right now, to be honest, because I know when I bought them. I bought them when I had lost some weight. So I'm just gonna put that in the summer pile, even though it's not exactly. It's not summer or winter but it's more of a summery jean actually summery jean um these are silver oh yeah i remember buying these i like the cut of these a lot but again i know for certain these don't fit me right now this is not my size you see i won't be able to close these damn damn i fit in these to the point where they were loose just not long ago and well not long ago a year and a half ago but i always loved the way my little butt looked in these jeans so <laughs> and i still do so i'm not getting rid of them i am going to put them aside because i'm on a little mini weight loss journey right now some of you might be like oh like where are you gonna put all this stuff what if you forget about it and if you don't ever wear it again so what honestly so what I would rather keep a few things that I know I actually liked um, because it's not my first time. Like these jeans are from 2017 and they're still perfectly fine. I bought them before my trip to Portugal. I remember this really specifically. And they're just a pair of jeans that I really love from Topshop. I don't have access to these jeans anymore. I don't even know if they make these moto jeans. And even if they did, they don't sell them in Canada anymore. And I really like them. I like and enjoy them. So no. What I did last time was I put all of this in one of these type of 40 liter bins. And I just put it in my storage. And I labeled it um, size 4 to 6 clothing or size 4 to 8 or whatever it was. And that's it. I put it downstairs and I forgot about it. And then when I got too thin for my big clothing, I just went downstairs and swapped it out. And like, ultimately, saving a couple of the thing. Ooh, actually, this is also empty. Oh my gosh, this is also pretty empty. Hmm. These pajama pants that I wear all the time. And some of these shirts are actually from my mom's closet. These pants as well. Actually, both of them. And I wear them all the time, so I'm really glad that I didn't declutter all of her stuff willy-nilly because we used to share some clothes and we overlapped in sizes. And I I don't feel bad about it at all. Like, she had lots of new stuff, so that's what I'm wearing. Like, I kept what I liked. It actually saved me money and time from going to the malls and trying to fill a need for another pair of pants, for example. Uh, these I'm gonna try on because I'm not I'm not really sure if they fit or not These are a little bit on the chopping block. I don't know. They remind me of a chapter in my life uh, I'm not sure it'll depend how they fit because I, I'm mm, mm -hmm, mm. You know what? I'm not even going to try them on. I remember what happened. I bought these pants from H&M in two different sizes. I bought them in a size 10 and in a size 8. Previously, I fit the size 10. I wore them until they fell apart and like they looked gross. And then I kept these because I fluctuated in weight. I was actually between sizes. They were inexpensive, so that's why I bought them. And the smaller ones always looked better on, but they were more uncomfortable up until the point that I lost weight. So I'm pretty sure they don't fit me now. I'm not even gonna bother trying them on. I'm gonna just put them in the pile. I found a pair of black corduroy pants and they actually fit well. They're a little bit low-waisted, but that's fine. Anyways, you can't really tell, but they fit great. And <laughs> they're not like super tight at the bottom, which I like. Mm, but my gripe with this is their corduroy. I don't like this. Look at all of the lint. I don't like that. Honestly, it's too bad because they fit like a glove and they're really comfortable. What would you guys do? I also don't have a lot of black pants right now at all. 
Could I like lint roll these and wear them to the office anyways? Just like with like a sweater when it's really cold out? I don't know if I could get away with that. I'm gonna go out on a whim and say I'm gonna declutter these because I would have worn them by now if I was interested. Next, I've got a jean skirt here. Am I really gonna wear this? This is not my style. I've kept this over and over again. I wore it a few times. I've kept it over and over again. I thought, oh, you know, if I go to a music festival, which I kind of do go to music festivals. Uh, and truthfully, I just tried this on and it looks ridiculous right now because um, these spread open due to weight gain. And, uh, but even when I could fit in this without it looking too raunchy. If I were going to a music festival in the summer, I'd probably wear a sundress anyways. So, so I'm left with two pairs of jeans. Barely sure these might not fit, but I'll try them on to be sure. They're probably gonna be just a little too snug, but I kind of feel like keeping them in my drawer because it, it just, it takes like that much for them to fit again. And then I have these, which, oh my gosh, I got these Levi's for $30 at the Bay many years ago. I was still with my ex at the time on the liquidation floor. These are 501s in size 29. See, the batch of these pants that don't fit are all size 28 or size 6 or size 8. These are size 29, but I don't know. They they always fit me. Um, usually they fit me loose, but right now they fit me perfect. So these are the two jeans I'm going to keep in my drawer. These two are very similar in size. This is what size in size 30 from H&M. I paid $10 for these and they're awesome. Um, they're very similar in size, but these do not have as much stretch. That's why I say that it might be a bit of a struggle to fit into these right now, but they uh, will soon become part of my rotation, hopefully. All right, so that's donation, maybe sell, or maybe just donate, honestly, at this rate. And these are to put away because they don't fit me right now. I'm left with two pairs. There is a pair missing. I don't know where my yoga jeans are. Where are they? I think they might be in here somewhere. Like I've just been throwing a pile of summer clothes on top of each other, but maybe, yeah, I, I still have this dresser to do. So we're just gonna have to see. Speaking of which, I found this kind of sweater shirt that I could add to my diminished tops drawer. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I kind of feel demotivated to go through another stack of nylons right now. Here are the jeans I found. They're yoga jeans and oh my gosh, they fit so good. And it's cool because they are wide-legged. Um, here I have my Nexit. I'm totally getting my period in like five seconds. And I switched out my perfumes to be a little bit more fall. Laneige water sleeping mask. Anyway, I don't want to get too much into what's on my dresser. So I have been filming these videos over the last few days and um, I did my closet first and I don't think I really talked to you guys through it very much. Essentially I'm going to comb through this and see if there's anything that I missed that I should take out. There's definitely going to be some stuff that doesn't fit like in terms of pants and things and I kind of just want to put them aside so that I'm not trying them on in the morning. and feeling late for work and upset that the pants don't fit. Also, the temperature is dropping next week, so I can effectively take out this summer dress, which I left here in case I wanted to wear it over the last couple of days where it's been 20 degrees. It gets actually so hot for no freaking reason, but like I said, it's going to get cool again because we are at the end of October now. Admittedly, it's looking very dark, but it is what it is. I do wear a lot of black um, I'm going to be getting rid of this American Eagle shirt It belongs to my mom and it fits fine, but it's just really not my style. I had to change because it's so hot I have here a pile of summer clothes and These are just bottoms that they don't fit me right now. Like uh, it's it's a lie to say that I would fit in a size 6 Aritzia right now because that just 
those pants won't even close like there's several inches between the closure of those pants it's so sad all right there's some mishmash stuff in what used to be my mom's closet and it's just the clothing on the end here and then i have this dresser um and i'll have to check these and see if there's clothing in there this is the this is what i've been procrastinating on this is like the big scary monster in elephant in the room <laughs> I went and grabbed this big bag that I thought was just pajamas, um, but there's a pair of leggings and some tops that are not for right now. However, I found these long sleeve shirts that are going to be really good for me for fall. And uh, yeah, they're going to have to go in here. Right now, I have a sweater and a tank top that I've worn once that I just kept in that bin because it's like, you know when it's like not dirty, but you could like you could squeeze in another wear type of thing. Anyways, I think I'll find another place for that and I'll put those shirts here. Actually, could I just get those things in? Yes. All right, so this is where we're at with the room. These are all the clothes I'm letting go of. Here are now two bags of clothes that either are for summer or don't fit me right now. And I'm actually going to have to be more intentional about this and um split things properly but for now i'm just getting them out of my room and only getting things into my closet and my dresser that i can actually wear um in the next few months i have been procrastinating okay y'all no more fooling around i have not posted in a month but i also have not decluttered in two weeks all right let's set up some boxes if you can remember this was already to give away I need another giveaway box. Uh, just a spot to put the things I want to keep. Oh wait, there's another empty box. Okay, maybe I'll use that for now. Oh my god, it's full of stuff. Of boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this after. Like, what, what do I do with this? This is too small. I know this is too small, but for now. For now. All right, all right, all right. I'm keeping this. Oh. Um. Oh my gosh. I do have a pile of like summer clothes. So I'm going to keep the summer keeps somewhere else. Let's put this aside. Oh no. Look how cute this was. We were so cute together. Aw. So let's get back to it. Oh, I've got shorts. This would go in the summer stuff. It's like summer smallish clothes, but it's stretchy. This is just like a standard sleeping t-shirt. I should probably put this in my sleeping current pajama drawer. I'm just gonna put that on the floor for now. You know, I decluttered this and then my mom kept it, so I, you know, honestly, I'm gonna pass it on. I just feel like it's not something I'm gonna wear. These are bottoms uh, that are ribbed and high-waisted, which are great for um, if you have fupa issues and it's also a bit high on the side, so it doesn't give you like granny booty because it is a bit cheeky. From Aerie, I always buy bathing suits on liquidation on Aerie whenever they have a sale. This was a pajama robe. It is still a pajama robe. Pajamas from Gap. It's a set, but it's summer pajamas, so I'll put that aside. Um, I've got these Le Garage shorts. I use these to work out at home. Even in the winter, I'll still work out in shorts because it gets too hot. These are fleecy shorts. 
These are great for cleaning in the winter at home. It's like at home clothes. What is this? Oh, these are pants. Yeah, these are linen pants. These are going in the summer pile. Oh gosh, I feel like the reason why all of these clothes were up here is because they are things that mostly things that I wanted to keep because they're things that I wore this year. Um, this little tank top. I think I have a, do I have a duplicate of this or mom and I both had this. I know that, but I'm going to keep that obviously because I like it. This, what is this? Oh, is this a top where you like tie on top? Like a strapless, like a very 2010s, no, not keeping this. Or it's a skirt, but I don't know. I just don't want it. I just found this bag. There were a couple of throw pillows in here that I just ultimately decided I didn't want to keep. And I think it would be more productive to put some clothes that I want to keep in here to make space. I know that was a tangent sentence. I probably didn't breathe while I was saying that. But um, just because it's so chaotic. So this is still, where it's still in the donation stuff. Or should I put the donation stuff in this bag? I like keeping these IKEA bags, but I can always buy more. It's not like they're expensive. And I just find, like, again, like I've said to you guys before, non reusable bags are kind of difficult to, um, they're difficult to stick donation stuff into. Like they just rip in things when you put them in the bins. Okay, so then I'm not putting that stuff in there. I'm just gonna continue using that as a donation bag. Um, oh my gosh. I'm so overwhelmed sometimes by the amount of clothes that I have. So I definitely am going to have to do like a post declutter. Declutter? <laughs> uh, for now, then I need another bag, no. Or if I can empty some of these containers. Ugh. I have, I've really been putting this off, you guys. I, I really didn't wanna do this. This room is so overwhelming to me. Okay, we're doing a little bit better. Found a bin to work on. I changed my top because I'm really hot. You know. <laughs> um, I've got this bin of shoes of mom's i don't want to do shoes today but like right off the bat i know she bought a pair of birkenstocks in my size and mine are falling apart so i think i'm going to get rid of mine and just start using these breaking these ones in these are originally hers and she's got like boots and shoes oh those are really nice i was supposed to keep those from norma keep these aside because I know her friend said she wanted them. They were like leather shoes, but when she came over to pick out of my mom's things, she was like, I can't carry everything. Maybe I should like prep a bag for her. But the thing is, I just don't want to hold on to stuff forever just because I'm waiting for a friend to take it or something like that. Like maybe I can use this for some of the shoes. I know they're not all going to fit in there, <laughs> clearly. <sighs> anyway, so mom's shoes, which, God, she had so many shoes that were like not even that used. They'd also go really well at like a woman's shelter, which is why I have a resource for that. I have, um, oh man, these boots are so nice. I remember when we went to the winners and I tried these on and they were a little bit snug on me because her feet were a half size smaller than mine. I couldn't buy them because I couldn't find my size, but she found her size. They're a bit scraped though. Still like in amazing condition. Like her shoes are so cute. Mom had such cute taste. Not the same as me, but cute. Zara used to do really good leather shoes back in the day. Oh, she used to wear these all the time. They're Rockport sneakers with zippers on the side. So really great if you hate laces, but you like the look of laces, but you don't like to tie your laces. These are actually Nike, but I think they're like a lower range Nike that um, end up in wholesale places like Winners and Marshalls. If you haven't seen it, um, CBC Marketplace did a really interesting report on, for example, the way that some brands make 
um, lower quality version of their products so that they can put them in Marshalls and that way you can get like the brand for less essentially guys I remember these are from the 90s they're gold glittery pumps they don't fit me they don't they're leather shoes they were probably so expensive knowing my mom the way that she was in the 90s I sold shoes like this before on Facebook marketplace I just take photos so I feel like these are something I would put aside because they're vintage okay so I've got all of the shoes in here the pair that Norma wants for sure the pair of Birkenstocks that I want the pair that I want to sell but for the time being these are all donation I don't think I'm gonna keep these and wait for anyone I just found my mom's caps from when she was doing chemo when she lost her hair they still smell like her which is kind of triggering honestly but I'm okay um, honestly I'm, I'm never gonna wear these I know that and they're not expensive to replace and like I said I'm never gonna wear them god forbid um, but yeah I'm, I'm going to let these go hey I found them um, shit I'm sorry okay I'm okay I just like I had a moment with the with the hair caps because like I said they still smell like her I don't want to show my face right now because I'm, I'm a little bit disheveled okay I'm okay everything is okay that already happened I found um, a gift that my mom had put aside for um, for a colleague who had a baby and I kept it because a she didn't get a chance to give it to the person who had the baby shower um, for whatever reason and then I thought you know if I ever had a kid I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you guys it, it's something that has weighed on me and it's one of the reasons why I didn't want to declutter the closet and things because I just knew that I had kind of shoved things that I didn't want to emotionally deal with like this or her caps because this is you know, I, I, I never made her a grandmother. It's mind you, I wasn't ready to have kids either. And yeah, anyways, um, I just don't want to get rid of this. There are a couple of people in our friend circle who are expecting. And if not, maybe I will keep it. I mean, God knows. God knows, honestly. Up on top of my makeup drawers, there was this um, box of scarves i have a chanel purse in here too and some old photos my mom was gifted a chanel purse many years ago it's not a purse it's a wallet um and i she she like hardly used it let me show you guys um i don't know if it's something that like i can maybe sell i think it's got the tag inside too it's kind of funny it's like the most expensive thing and I have zero attachment to it but except for the fact that it belongs to mom obviously and then in the photos this was my mom when she was much younger than me and here I'm just blocking the other person because I don't even know who they are anymore do I feel like doing this right now I don't want to get derailed by accessories I've changed my mind. I don't want to do this right now. I want to focus on the dresser. I keep trying to avoid the dresser. All is good. In this first one, I ended up putting the Chanel thing there. Oh, there's also a Chanel belt. <laughs> and then I have a box of nail stick-on things and another jewelry box, but this one's empty. I'm not going to do anything in this drawer, but I do have... Oh, crap. Okay. I found the lingerie thing that goes with this. Um, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna keep this chiffon thing. I just, I feel like I'm never gonna wear this. Okay, first of all, there's like old lingerie that will never fit me, even if I lose weight. Even at my thinnest, I've never been able to wear this because my mom was quite tiny in the 90s, but I have... She kept everything, you guys. Like, she even had kept nylons from the 90s that I decluttered with my aunt, but now I have some more stuff So I think I'm gonna go through these while I charge my battery just in case I get emotional and then I'll show you what my piles are after 
See how tiny this thing is? It's crazy. It's so pretty though, but I could never, even when I'm thin, my boobs are too big for this. It's tiny. Another part of the reason why I wanted to not film this portion is that I'm trying on some of the things. I've already gotten through this drawer, but now I'm in here and I found this swimsuit that, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm not mad at this. This is actually cute. She got this billabong one because Carrie Bradshaw wore it in an episode of Sex and the City. Imagine that. Right, I have gotten to the last drawer, like literally all of them are empty except, except the one with the wallet and the nail stuff and the jewelry stuff. Y'all, I don't know what happened with this dresser, but now the drawer is kind of like... I have to lift them a little bit as I'm putting them in so that they don't jam, which really pisses me off because this dresser was perfectly fine before. And this clothing was not necessarily that heavy, but I digress, I'm sorry. I know you guys don't care about that stuff. These are the two boxes that I'm getting rid of. And then this mountain of clothes, which is on top of an air conditioner. So it's not everything all the way down, but then this, this bag and this box are things I want to keep. I realize that is kind of excessive, but as I fold stuff and put it in the drawers, I'm just going to see what gets kept and what doesn't. I just, I have a really hard time because a lot of things fit. I did end up backtracking and getting rid of some of these logo Honduras t-shirts because honestly, I don't need a hundred of them. I'm only one person and I don't wear them all the time, so... Bear in mind, I still have this little bit of clothing to go through as well, so yeah. And I gotta check these bins, I'm not sure if there's clothing in here. I know that one is, I think it's purses or shoes, I can't recall, so I'm gonna have to go through that too. Wow, it somehow looks worse, but I promise guys, trust the process. So I had a chance to look at what's inside of these, and there's a couple that are miscellaneous. One is, or two of them rather, are a bunch of reusable bags so that I can use to declutter. Went into the corner, I took out the extra rack that I have, and I thought this was shoes and purses, but to my delight, it's not. It's an extra bath mat, which I'm gonna get rid of, and a couple of fuzzy blankets, which honestly, I, I really feel like I don't need that many. I have spare pillows up there. I don't need more pillows and I have spare bedding. I'm gonna declutter at least one of those. Right, y'all. I am exhausted. It's only five o'clock, but I think I'm about done. I gotta move the Monstera. <laughs> These are still my makeup chores. This side has, not all of them are full, but a few of them have perfumes that I need to go through um, because there's just a lot. And then on the other side, so I'm having trouble disassembling this rack. I had a really hard time setting up the plant rack. It's actually a closet, um, a closet rack. You might have noticed it in some of my older videos when I used to do room tours. Um, my mom and I both had one of these, but because there were such heavy jackets on this at one point, I've even like warped it trying to disassemble it. I'm gonna go through the drawers first and show you, but these are the two boxes of clothing that I'm decluttering. There were some things that I just threw out right away. Not too much though, to be honest. So I've gone ahead and yeah, it's still a lot of stuff. I just got overwhelmed. These are pajamas that all fit me. Uh, eventually I think I will be going through this again and reevaluating some things. But yeah, these are all like really comfortable pants that fit me now. So they're great for summer and like hanging out at home. And what I've been doing lately is just, I kind of wear something until I wear it out. And then I go into the stash of old things. I've got the lingerie stuff that you saw me take out of my bedroom and the bras that just don't fit me right right now. These are some winter clothes that I absolutely adore but do not fit me right now or that I just don't really like the way they look on me after my weight gain. So I, I just put them there. Oh, see, <laughs> stupid drawer. 
in here I have a little bit of space, I guess. Um, that's probably just going to get filled up with socks because I have an overflow of socks in my bedroom right now. I'm switching from summer to fall socks, but these are a few dresses that I don't wear often and that are more for summertime. These are summer robes, I guess you could say. I was really into robes at one point and I'm kind of debating on whether I'm gonna still keep them or not. That's just a random dress that's new, but I bought it when I was thin and now I've gained the weight back, so that sucks. Um, these are all summer clothes that I have actually worn this summer. So I decided to just keep them there because they're things that I know fit me now in case I don't lose weight. Um, and even when I do lose weight, I still am able to wear some of this stuff. So um, I don't know, it's easy for me to see. And then I think I'll have a better, clearer view of what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep because I haven't really cared much about my appearance as much this year. So it's kind of hard for me to say, honestly. These are also things I've worn very frequently and or still fit me now. Uh, I left some bathing suits here, linen pants and a top. These are some winter things that I just don't need just yet, but I just put them there in the front. And then these are bottoms that I've worn all summer. There's another jewelry box that I found. I just ended up putting it on top of the dresser in this because I just, I'm exhausted guys. Like I'm so tired. I just have junky stuff in here, but I figured might as well shove it in the corner. And by junky stuff, I mean that it's a couple of empty boxes that I can use to declutter and a basket. This is for an air conditioner that I'm not presently using. Let me just open up this side of the closet. So. I shuffled things around. I still have to get rid of those blankets, but I just, honestly, my front entrance is so full right now and I figured these are just really easy to pull out when I, when I need to. These two top containers are empty. This bag, it is just filled with empty bags. These are also empty bags that I can use to declutter things. This is a bag full of, I just gotta double check before I throw this out, but it's a bunch of jewelry boxes and um, jewelry bags that it's like an excessive amount. Like I, I really don't need them, but I'm just not sure if I left jewelry in there or not while I was decluttering. So I just gotta double check it before I declutter. That box ended up being all the socks consolidated. It's winter socks as well, but I, again, I, I know I have to get rid of some of them but I did go through them uh, when my mom had just passed away. So they're kind of skimmed down, but they are still excessive. There's probably like colors and textures like a fabric that I don't enjoy, but it's a 40 liter box. It's not completely full, but it's quite busy in there. It's mostly like wool socks and things that take up a lot of space. Then these two bins here um, ended up being summer clothes that either fit me right now but are just like I don't need them on hand like I obviously don't have enough room in this dresser but it's also summer clothes that don't fit me right now and some of it was already filtered through before and listen I know I've kept a lot because I've only gotten rid of these two boxes but I'm just you know at a certain point you just get so overwhelmed um it is really difficult for me to predict what I'm gonna like to wear this summer because I don't know. Yeah. So rather than breaking my head about that, I just take out anything that's an immediate no. That is my biggest tip for anyone who is overwhelmed by the amount of things. I do realize that my situation is quite peculiar. Guess what? I've barely bought any clothes over the last three to four years because I've kept the clothes that I already purchased and I feel like a lot of rhetoric in decluttering and minimalism is like, get rid of it all, get rid of it all, get rid of it all. I already have the space for this stuff right now, like what's the hurry, you know? So I'd rather just be more diligent about it and get to know more what my life is gonna be like and kind of match the wardrobe to the lifestyle that I'm living. It was taxing, but 
stay tuned because there will be more declutters um, on Instagram and TikTok so we can chit chat. See you guys in my next video, which will likely be another declutter. Yay.